A tank driver should know how the power that drives his tank is transferred from the engine to the tracks. The engine is connected to the drive shaft by a clutch. This is disengaged or engaged by stepping on the clutch pedal or letting it up. The clutch is connected to the drive shaft, which drives the transmission. The different gears are engaged to give various speeds. Normally, the tank has five speeds forward and one in reverse. This animated diagram shows the different gear shift positions. Reverse and first, a powerful pulling gear, are normally locked off from the other. Pressing the button on top of the gear shift lever permits the lever to enter either of these positions for shifting. For normal starting and driving, however, only gears two, three, four, and five are used. The transmission contains and drives the control differential. This device has two brakes which are operated by pulling back the steering levers. This permits steering by slowing down either the right or the left track. When one track is slowed down by the brake, the other track is automatically speeded up. Two shafts connect the control differential to the final drive gears. These, in turn, are connected to the drive sprockets. The drive sprockets engage with the tracks and propel the tank. 